integrated three, it's 10 184. It says natural logs written log base E of X or ln X and exponential expressions with base E are often used in formulas. Many problems can be solved equally well using either a base 10 logarithm or a natural logarithm. Solve each of the following problems, first using the log key, base 10, and then using the ln key, which is base E, on your calculator. So the original problem was 10,000 times 1.08 to the x equals 20,000. So what you want to do is get the x almost by itself, or you, you need to try to solve for x. So I didn't show all my work, but I divided both sides by 1,000, or 10,000. Okay, and that left me two over here. And so I didn't have the logs there yet, but I had 1.08 to the x equals two. And then how can I get the x by itself? Well, I have to use a, a law of exponents, or a, I call them the log laws, the properties of logarithms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log both sides of the equal sign. And once this is a logarithm, then this x can come out front because that's one of the properties of logarithms. So then I end up with x times log of 1.08 equals uh, log 2. And then just to get x by itself, I divided both sides by log of 1.08, right, when I was divided over here. And then I just put that in my calculator. Like I just typed, I typed log of two, I always push the equal sign because I, I wonder about the order of operation, divided by log 1.08. I never trust if, it, if my calculator is going to know the order of operations. Um, and there you go. But you'll see if I go, um, if I just basically do that whole procedure, like solve it for x by dividing both sides by 10,000 and then um, if I ln both sides of the equal sign, then I would end up with something exactly like this, but it would just be ln 2 and ln 1.08. And I don't know if you believe me or not, but here, ln 2 divided by ln gives me the same exact thing. Why? How could it give me the same thing? It's because these are just ratios. It's because it's a, because there's a ratio there. It's just like, you know, how one half is the same as two fourths or whatever. Um, so it doesn't matter if you feel like it's easier to LN both sides or to log both sides. The reason you would even do either one of those is because your X is up there in the exponent and you need to use that law of logarithms that brings your x down out front. It's the only way you can get that x down out of the, it's kind of like it's the inverse, uh, logarithm is the inverse of um, the exponential. Like, well, there it's, it's doing the inverse and it's, it's getting the um, x down for you. So letter B, we did it the exact same way. I divided both sides by 30,000. And then I realized that this ends up just, I just did it in my head. 15 over 30, that's 0.5. And then I logged both sides. And then I um, used that law of logarithms, the property of logarithms that says the x can come out front. Divided both sides by uh, log 0.8 just push the buttons in my calculator. And then I'm showing right over here that, see, I would get the exact same thing if I LN both sides. And then um, letter C says, interpret the answer for part A. If the equation represents the amount of money invested at 8% annual interest. So, so pretend that was your starting amount, and that is your interest, and that's what you end up with. Well, if you, I don't know if you noticed that, but it doubled. 
it doubled. See, like we had a two right there because it doubled. So X is the amount of time it would take for my 10,000 to turn into 20,000. So it would take about nine years for 10,000 to turn into 20,000. So nine years for it to, sorry, nine years for it to double. And then letter D says, Interpret the answer for part B if the equation represents the price paid for a car that depreciates 20% per year. So if it depreciates by 20%, then it's only worth 80% of what it was the previous year. That's where the 0.8 comes from. So that's the 80% because it's depreciating by 20 and 100 take away 20 is 80. And um, and then it um, says about three years and one month, the car will be worth less than a half of the original price. So where'd they get the half from? Because, well, remember when I divided both sides by 30,000 and I ended up with the 0.5? 0.5. So that's uh, 10-184.